Hey, how is going? Adam here. Today we're gonna make a new Game Boy Zero build with the latest board from Tinkerboy. Let's get into it. First, we're gonna go through some of the parts used for this build. For our shell, I used an original grey color one from eBay. These are reproductions, but the quality is top notch. A Raspberry Pi Zero. For our bottom board, I went with Tinkerboy V3.1. It's packed with all the features you need, and even more. It comes with the possibility to add 6 buttons and a joystick, an integrated Arduino, audio amplifier, headphones jack, and a USB hub all in one slick board. Also from Tinkerboy, I went with this DPI adapter. This will give me a better image. The display will be faster and the pictures will be clearer. No flickering and no noise. For my display, I went with this 3.5 inch one from Gearbest. To keep everything together, I printed this bracket. Files will be in the description. To power everything, I used an Adafruit power boost. This will handle charging and power delivery for our console. For a long lasting battery, I went with Bluetech 5200 mAh one. It can power the Game Boy for a longer time. A micro USB charging port, an 8 ohm 1 watt speaker, a 3 pin volume wheel, two sets of Game Boy buttons and silicon pads, a Game Boy game cartridge, you can find this RetroPie 1 on Tinker's Boy website. Links will be in the description. A glass protector for our screen. And finally, a 20 GPIO pins for our DPI adapter. Let's start working on our case. To drill our hole buttons, I use the printed guide. You can find the link in the description. Glue it on our case. And with the step drill bit, let's make the holes. Carefully make the two holes. And we can go to modifying the display part of the case. With a Dremel and a cutting disc, cut around 6mm around the edge of the screen. Leaving enough space for us to file later. With the cutting done, with a clamp, Cut the excess material and with a file head, let's file the rest. After we finished filing, take some sandpaper and smooth out the edges. With our rotary tool, remove all the stands that are around the screen area. And with that we finish modifying the top half of the case. Now let's modify the other one. First, let's remove the metal piece by unscrewing the four screws. Now let's make the two holes for our left and right shoulder bot. I used two normal buttons and two caps for them. This making it impossible to fit in the original screw holes. So with the drill bit again, carefully make the hole bigger and bigger. Checking out all the steps to ensure you don't make it too wide. With the shoulder buttons ready, let's modify the rest. Send the next part off. And to make enough room for our component, do the next modification to the battery compartment. Add the battery in the compartment and check if everything fits well. The last mode of the case will be the USB charging port. With a smaller file head, carefully work your way around 
and check it if it fits well. And that was for the case. Now we are ready to start mounting parts inside of it. Let's start wiring our board. First I will wire the USB ones from the top of the board. With this done, now let's wire the data cables that goes to our DPI adapter combo. Just slide them through the holes and solder them. Here if you use the DPI adapter, wire them backwards. As Gio pointed out, the DPI adapter wiring is backwards. The next wires will be the temporary power in cables. I say temporary because we will solder them again later. Solder the audio wires and next will be the GND and 5 volts that goes to my DPI adapter. Now we got power in, power out, USB and data cables. and the audio ones. Next ones will be the analog wheel ones. Slide them through the holes and solder them. Leaving us to the left and right shoulder button ones. Don't solder the ground yet. You can do that later on. That was it with the cabling. Now let's go to our DPI adapter. Slide the GPIO pins through the top row of the holes and with a clamp cut the ends of the connector. Slide the pie over and solder the pins. Cut the plastic and the ends of it and solder them on the back as well. And that was it. Now let's get our display and cover the back of it with some Compton tape. Slide the display in our bracket. Take the plastic wrap and place it in our pie. With some hot glue, fix it in place. Next, let's add the glass screen. This has a double adhesive back, so just carefully add it on the top. Now let's take our bottom bracket and fix it in place as well. Start adding the buttons and the silicone pad. And place the bottom board on top of it. Fix it with the four screws. And we are done with the buttons and our screen. Let's add our DPIO adapter. First, cut the power cables to reach our DPI pins. Slide them through the holes and solder them in place. Add more solder after and we now have power to our DPI Pi combo. Next our data cables which are inverted, measure the length and cut the excess wire. Solder the ends and fix them in place as well. With that done, slide the band connector into our DPI adapter and fix it in place with some hot glue. Do the same with our speaker. This speaker being a bit smaller, it will need to seal it with glue. Cut the wires and connect them to our speaker. Solder them and seal it with glue again. For our software install, for our software install, do it like a normal RetroPie one. After you finish installing, Open the boot partition and find the config file. Here we will add the following. Click save and now we need to download this file and add it to the overlay folder. Eject the SD card and that was it. Now our display should work. Insert the SD card in the Pi and connect it temporarily to our power boost to make a check. And it works. Set up the buttons and now press the select button for 15 seconds to deactivate the digital volume in order for us to connect an analog volume wheel. 
Now let's cut the cables for our wheel and solder the wires to it. Check the diagram if you need more help. Now glue a piece of plastic as a standoff and fix it in place. Reinforce it with more glue and we are done with the wheel. Leaving us to the USB hub, thin them as follows and glue this down as well. After it dried up, reconnect it to our power boost and connect the keyboard to our USB port to have a check. And with that we finish the front part of our Game Boy. Let's get to the back of the case. We can start with a micro USB port. Solder two wires to it and glue it in the place we made earlier. To wire the shoulder button, I solder the ground wires to them. We already got the left and right wires already soldered. With them soldered, glue them in the holes we drilled earlier. And we are done. Next will be our power booster, on which I already soldered the charging wires, the pipe power and the switch ones. Glue it on the top of the case along with the power switch. With it glued down, let's solder the switch to the power boost. Do the same with the USB charging one. Route the Pi power to the bottom of the case with some hot glue and let's test the power booster and the switch. Now let's connect the shoulder bottom wires. You can solder the ground ones to any ground pin on the board. Now let's glue the 5 volts and ground to our board and we finished soldering. Insert the battery and let's close the case down and screw the 4 back screws. And we are done with the assembly. All we need is to install games and set up the audio. Format as FAT32 through a USB stick and make a folder called RetroPie. Eject it and let's pop it in our Game Boy. You will see the stick flashing, wait until it stops and let's insert it back into our PC. Here when you open the folder we created, you will see that we have a lot of folders. Here you can copy your ROMs. After you did, let's eject the stick and insert it back into our console. Here let it flash. After it is done, restart the console and the games will show up in the emulation station. To set up the audio, let's press F4 and insert the following. Here we need to create a file in which insert the following. Reboot and the sound should come out from our Game Boy Zero. That was it, our Game Boy is done.